Hey guys, it's Maz here. Uh, if you're new to my channel, welcome. If not, welcome back. Um, but seriously, check out the view behind me. Like, how cool is this? I'm currently in Buenos Aires in Argentina. Um, today's vlog is, well, it was supposed to be a review <laughs> on uh, some swimwear from a company called Cupshe. Uh, they'd reached out to me and I was meant to pull one together a little while back, but things happen. Post comp, holidays, weight gain, bloating, things happen. And I was putting it off and putting it off and putting it off because I was really not bikini bod ready at all. And I really didn't want to sh be showing that to people, you know? <laughs> so um, I thought, what the hell, I may as well like combine the both. Um, and yeah, kill two birds with one stone. So uh, today's vlog is going to be a review on uh, the swimwear that I received from Cupshe. Plus it's also going to talk about my issues I've had post-comp with body, with like all the yucky things, like seriously bloating, I don't know, constipation, um, just things happening to all of this and even not just physically but mentally so also for those that um, have been experiencing something similar or like have any tips they would like to share or their own experience about post comps or if you can relate as well with the bloating and everything else the post comp blues as they call it um, don't hesitate to send me a message drop a comment hit me up on insta um, i'd love to hear from you um you know you're not alone because obviously I'm with you right there <laughs> but yeah enjoy the vlog first day of holidays three weeks post comp this is what I look like a bit thicker eating more food yeah Still get muscles. When I first tried on these bikinis, I was actually super self-conscious, super uncomfortable with where my body was at, and taking a while to get used to, you know, a little bit of thickness. In hindsight, I actually looked pretty good considering what I ate post-comp. I had no idea in the weeks coming forward I would start experiencing skin breakouts, rashes, digestive issues, constipation, bloating, food intolerances that were never there before, and yeah, more excess weight gain. Me right now, a little thicker. Losing a bit of definition, but still looking fit, so I'm pretty happy with that. Yeah. It's Monday the 19th of November. Um, I woke up, my stomach isn't as bad as it has been, but like it's just not a good feeling when I look in the mirror and it just doesn't sit right with me, it doesn't feel good. Like I feel like my face is like really full it's like no matter what I eat I'm just bloating um yeah let me show you what I look like right now thank god it's not as bad as yesterday but it's still not your bikini model look whatsoever I know a lot of it is water weight, some is fat because I will admit I haven't been eating the best at times, I'm on vacation, I'm on holidays so you know I don't want to like ruin this holiday by being like restrictive or anything but I just feel my body isn't used to this and I'm shocking it so much that my metabolism is out of whack. Like, there's been mornings I've woken up so bloated it hurts when I haven't even eaten anything. Um, and yeah, I just want my body to come back to some normality because it's just really not a good feeling, like, at all. Okay, I have just figured out 
a trigger that is making me bloat. I just had ice cream and like not even a minute later, my stomach is like really fat. Look at that. I couldn't even get the pants off. Probably <laughs> like it just blew up like a balloon. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm so happy that the bloating has gone down. It's the next day, feeling so much better. Yes. Okay, pool day, gym's done, and now I'm going to try these Cupshi one pieces. Hopefully, they can hide the bloat. I've got a couple to choose from. Let's try it on. We're here at the Alvier Art Hotel in Buenos Aires because we wanted to check out the really awesome pool. But look at this, like, I want to like take it off and show you, but I'm using it like an outfit. How cool is it? I like it. What do you think? Let's go check this out. Oh my god, I walked into the bathrooms. First thing I saw, scales. I was like, oh my god, I wonder how much I weighed. Steph stopped me. <laughs> um, I think it's probably a good thing because I already know I've gained weight. And if I jump on the scales, it will mess with my mind. We already know. Yeah, it's not a good idea. I'll deal with it when I get home. Future Maz's problems. Crashing in a world. skin's breaking out I never get pimples and this morning look uh, my skin's like lumpy I'm, I'm heading out to dinner anyway but look at that what is that <laughs> I usually have like really clear skin so yeah what's going on uh, it's Saturday, 24th of November. I'm just waking up. I actually looked in the mirror, look at my stomach, just to see where I'm at. Because I had like a massive burger and I had beer last night. I'm a food snob, so it wasn't the best burger, but it was still like pretty good. Um, I do feel a lot better now that I've kind of come to that decision of, you know what, Mass? You're only going to be on this trip once. Soon this trip is going to be a distant memory. And I don't want to look back at this trip regretting that I didn't try this, I didn't do this, that I was worried. I spent the whole time doing, like, doing my head in with like body issues when I'm going to go home and I'll be able to get back into it. So I may as well enjoy it now. So yeah. Coming up to the end of the trip, while I'm enjoying a glass of vino, of course. I will admit, uh, putting together this vlog, I've realized how much of a head fuck I've been experiencing. And all the while, like it really, really wasn't worth it. You know, like I'm here in South America, it's freaking amazing here. And not to say this like ruined my trip, but I've spent a lot of the time in my head about stupid stuff like my body, when really I should be enjoying the moment focusing on everything that's good which is right in front of me like who cares about all that like not to say who cares about your body or your health or anything like that but i'm on vacation and i've got a whole nother year of comp prep um for those people that have competed before or have dieted hard like i won't deny competing is extreme dieting at times it's an extreme sport 
you know, I've spent the last 12 months comp prepping where my body is used to clean food. It's not used to certain things. So that time that you saw my stomach bloat up over ice cream, at that moment I realized it was because I'd taken dairy out of my diet without ever actually intending to, but looking back, yeah, I'd taken dairy out and for basically 12 months. Um, and that's what happens when you restrict yourself. I wasn't intentionally restricting myself, but when you take away foods that really probably shouldn't be in your body, um, and then yeah, introduce it back in, or food, when you take certain food groups away from your, from your body and introduce it back in, your body's gonna be in shock. And that's what's been going on with me. Because um, my prep has been such like a long, prolonged time, um, I'm actually not sure you know, like how my body responds, probably why it's been responding the worst it has ever, because it was such a long time. So yeah, moral of the story, and at the end of the day, I would say like, looking back at that, I shouldn't have spent so much time focused on that. And if you're going through your own body insecurities, your own body issues and whatnot, like take a step back and away from that situation. I know it's a fucking mind fuck at the time, like I'm not gonna deny that, because like, as you just saw, I went through it as well. But it really, really isn't worth it. Like, it's all in our control. Like, I know for myself, I'm gonna go back to Australia, get back into comp prep, get back into shape, and all of this anxiety was like really for nothing. So for now, enjoy the moment. Um, and for everyone else that may not be competing or having body struggles and whatnot, just know that at the end of the day, you are in control. You know, like whatever you put into your body, will, you will get out. And yeah, like it's it's your decision at the end of the day. So instead of beating yourself up and eating shit food and then beating yourself up again, if you don't want to feel like that, just don't eat shit. And if you're going to be like me and be on holiday and decide, well, fuck it, I'm going to eat shit because I'm on holiday, there's repercussions that come from that. So I've got to accept that. The bikinis <laughs> the from Cupshe, the bikinis and everything, like I was so worried about doing this review because my body insecurities and whatnot, but honestly, they are actually really cool. I love the one pieces where I can wear them as outfits, um, and I love the fact the material is like so awesome, especially given that they're actually not like that expensive. They look good and they've got like heaps of different styles. I um, highly recommend them. I have posted links below if you want to get some for yourself. They've got like tons to choose from. Um, I've posted links to get discounts for the ones that I've been wearing throughout the video. Hope you enjoyed, check them out. First bikini try on from Cupshe. I don't mind these bikinis. They're actually really comfy. Um, they've got padding if you're like me and don't have much going on up here. <laughs> but I'm um, super comfy. I'm just still a little bit self-conscious because like I've put on a little bit, but holiday is nearly coming to an end. I've had a great time, but check these. I like them. Thanks so much for watching guys. I hope you did enjoy that vlog. If you did, don't forget to show your support and give it a big massive thumbs up. Um, and if you haven't already, to keep up to date with all my adventures and all my vlogs that I share, I share random tips, tricks on weight loss, fitness, adventures, just random stuff I'm passionate in. But yeah, if you wanna follow along on that journey, don't forget to hit that big red button down below, you know, that big subscribe button. Um, and hit the little bell notification too, so you get notified every time I do a new upload. Um, I upload every week. So yeah, thanks for stopping by, and till next time.